So as you might be seeing lately, I'm focusing more on this channel on laptop upgrades and maintenance. During the past few months I have collected several laptops which have some kind of problems with the batteries. Probably you didn't know, but if you have a fast boot option enabled in your laptop's BIOS settings and you will try to shut down Windows, actually it, it does not fully shut uh, the computer off, rather hibernate it so the next startup will be faster. The problem with it, uh, if you don't use the laptop every single day, it still drains its battery and at a certain level the battery built-in electronic kicks in and simply won't let discharge even further and if you let it sit even more, completely disconnect any communication with your computer so you won't be able to recharge again. You might face the same issue, you have a totally good battery with good cells but Windows only shows you power on but not charging and the charging level stays at 0%. As soon as you disconnect the charger, the computer shuts off immediately. The laptop circuit is uh, simply unable to force any charge to these batteries. So you need a professional tool to try to revive your good battery. I happen to have two deep charge batteries, which is unable to charge from its own charger, and one battery which is simply randomly shuts off my computer. Probably the third battery is simply an old one and I can't repair it, but still, I'm going to show you our options. I happened to discover a very handy little tool just for this job uh, from a very nice uh, Romanian guy, the NLB A1 uh, laptop battery analyzer. With this professional tool I can directly connect my batteries to it and run several tasks. But first, let's see um, what we get in the box. Inside the box we get the NLB A1 hardware itself, with the DC and the USB uh, Type-B connector, and the 4-pin header for our probes to connect di directly to our batteries. Besides the NLB1, uh, we get a laptop charger for the hardware itself, and the USB cable. Also several types of probe cables with different layouts, shapes and sizes. These are for more recent batteries. On the NLB A1 site there are called new slim flat battery connectors. Also we get an already pre-configured old type variant for standard uh, removable batteries. In this video I am going to test the newer versions. As you can see I already pre-configured the layout of my batteries. Actually this is a very easy procedure. If you check the 4 pins on the NLB A1, you can see 4 letters. V, C, D and G. These are stands for VBAT, actually for powering our batteries. C and D for clock and data, um, these are for collecting data and status information of the cells, voltage levels and so on, and G stands for ground. Wiring the cables are very easy, usually internal batteries are color coded. Red is usually the positive, the V bat in this case, blacks are ground and the two other colors are the data and clock. but the bundled software has a thousand layouts libraries if you need any additional information on the wiring. Upon connecting a battery uh, you might have uh, the output light turn on which means we have power from the battery and be able to communicate with it. But if the battery is completely dead uh, we can also input some juice from our hardware to wake up the battery in order to restart the charge cycle, read out information or recalibrate it. These are the main features uh, a normal laptop simply unable to handle. We can also check the layout of the internal cells and those conditions. Now let's talk about the test results of our batteries. 
The first battery was completely dead and the laptop was unable to charge at all. I could not able to read out any data, so had to apply some output voltage from the software. And uh, as you can see, as soon as I uh, power, powered it off, the data simply went off and the device disconnects from the battery. Cell checks was also not possible due to the deep charge state, so I ran a calibration repair procedure. After a few minutes, uh, the charging current starts to ramp it up and the state of charge popped to 1%, which means we have a revived battery from the deep state and from this the laptop was able to charge it again. Success! The second battery was not as lucky as the first one. Uh, it was so deeply discharged over time that the cells voltage were totally off and some of them might be also damaged. So, so the built-in chip simply locked the whole circuit and refused any charge. Also tried to wake it up from the cells check menu. These apply small pulses to the battery controller and sometimes this can restart it and unlock the battery so we can revive it again. But I had lo no luck with it. The cells were so unbalanced and off. I was unable to revive it. Oh well, this is life, I might salvage these, but this types of repair is totally off from my experience. The third battery had random shutdowns behavior under heavy load. I think these are simply old and have very high internal resistance, which can cause a fast discharge rate, smaller battery capacity, heat buildup or simply unable to hold any charge at all in the long term. I ran three times the calibration procedure to see if I can fix the battery. During the first session I gained a small amount of extra capacity and my laptop was able to read out way better capacity but it was so degraded under heavy load till shut my computer down. I checked the cells and all of them were heavily degraded and the internal resistance was very high. There are not much I can do here or at least for me. A replacement battery might need to be ordered in the future. Anyway, the whole purpose with this video was to show how many good things we can do with this little device and I only showed you a small amount of the features. I'm going to highlight this in my future videos as well so you can have a better understanding of what cells we get in our laptops how to maintain them and so on. I will leave a link in the video description for the NLB A1 if you plan to order one. But if you ask me, simply every household should uh, have this kind of tool laying around, not just for computer shops, since almost everyone has a laptop nowadays. And be able to repair them, learn about them and maintain them is simply a good ability. If you have any questions regarding this uh, product please let me know in the comment section below and I will try to answer all of them. Thank you and have a nice day.